I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me first thank Mr. Sunil for taking keen interest in my videos and introducing me to his group of friends. I highly appreciate the hard work he is doing to provide intellectual knowledge to all his friends. We'll begin with number patterns. We'll talk about basic number patterns and then with the help of few examples look into few intricate ones. So it's kind of back to numbers. So welcome you all. In this series I'll highly appreciate if you participate as we go along. It will be a fun session. Remember the answers are never right or wrong. So let's make an attempt to say it loud the numbers which come next when we talk about these number patterns. We'll have 20 questions here beginning with question number one which is kind of straightforward. I'm calling this activity activity one as increasing number patterns. So when I say increasing number patterns we know that the numbers are growing they are increasing something is getting added on to the previous number to get the next number that is the whole idea and we will see soon figure out how to find the next number the very first question here relates to a standard topic here which is find the next three numbers in the given pattern. So in all these patterns we have to find the next three numbers. So let's take the very first one which is question number one. One, two, three. So just tell me what are the next three numbers? Clearly it is a counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's great. Now let's look into question number two. 10, 20, 30. So next comes what? Well, it should be 40, right? Okay. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 50, 60. Well, the pattern series could go on as we have seen. So sometimes what we do is we do three dots. We write three dots after the series saying that it further increases. Now question number five here is we got the first three numbers in our series which is 5, 10, 15. We need to figure out the next three numbers. Well, let's try to analyze this. We are starting with 5. So let me write down here. We start at 5. And then what are we doing? Well, to go from 5 to 10, we are adding 5. And then again, we added 5, correct? So we start at 5 and each time we add 5. So add 5 each time. So that is how we are looking at these series, right? And then we get our pattern, which is 5, 10, 15, and 15 plus 5 is how much? Well, it's number 20. So we'll write down 20 next, and then we'll add 5 more to get 25, 5 more to get 30, and this is infinite series. You can keep on going. We're only writing the first three terms now. So I hope this was easy, right, to begin with. So it was based on numbers and we are counting numbers in the first case straight and then we counted by tens and then we counted by fives. Correct? Now let's move on and take some more examples. Now in activity two, we are calling it decreasing number patterns. So this time the numbers will be decreasing. That means we need to subtract, right? So when it says decreasing number patterns, then 
what we need to do is we need to subtract right so decreasing means take away so that you get a smaller number or you may have to subtract so these are the two operations will be performed on the numbers so so number three is question number four here is 99 98 97 next number should be one less right so we we are moving down by one so one less 99 98 97 the next number is 96 decrease further and continue this operation you may write more but at present we are writing only three numbers and so on it continues perfect now here question number five 55 50 45 are your numbers so what we notice here is that it is five less each time you can also describe the series let's describe this we are starting at 5 55 we are starting at 55 and once we start at 55 we subtract 5 each time perfect so once you do that then you get the series so let's write down the numbers in this series now 55 50 45 5 less will be 40 and then the number 3 5 and when we take away this 5 we get the number 3 0 30 and that's how it goes perfect so now let's go to question number 6 and try to figure out how to find the next three numbers when we have a series which clearly is decreasing the numbers are decreasing 42 37 32 and so on well let's also understand the steps of doing this so that as we move further it becomes simpler for us to adopt a method so first of all we'll always look at the number which we are going to start with so in this case we are starting with 42 so we'll say start at 42 and then we'll see what is the trend so in this case when you go we know we have a smaller number so we can do 42 take away 37 you need to borrow so when you borrow it becomes 3 this becomes 12 when you take away 7 from 12 you get the number 5 so we are actually taking away 5 and let me check is it same here also yes 37 take away 5 is 32 perfect so that means we have to take away 5 to get the next number so I can write down my pattern rule start at 42 take away 5 each time because this process of taking away 5 repeats to get the next term in our pattern so now we'll write down the next term which is 5 less than 32 and the number is 27 right then again we have to do take away 5 so that is the process so we'll take away 5 to get a number which is 22 and once again we'll take away 5 so you can do this exercise along with me I hope you're finding it interesting and useful so we get the three terms of our series so I'm using the word terms right let me write down this num word which is called term each number here has a position right so we normally say term number it gives you the position 
of number in the pattern is that clear to you so we can say which is the fifth term one two so we, we can count and say one two three four five the fifth term is 22 right so that is how we'll use the term number at times so I hope till now it is easily understandable let's move on to next activity which is activity number three now here we are going to introduce to you repeating patterns repeating means something which goes over and over again right so whatever repeats we call that as a core group so we'll identify what repeats right so let's look into the pattern and then we'll explain this term so the question now is find the next three numbers in the given patterns question number seven two question number seven the numbers are two four three two four it seems something is repeating let's look into this group once again so the numbers are two four three two four so that is repeating right so we have identified that we have a small group which is two four three that repeats right so so we could use this information to get to the numbers and we can say that it should be two four and the next number has to be three right and then again we can write this group two four and so on so we have written three numbers which extend the pattern so the group that repeats is also called the core group okay so we'll call this as a core group and here we have the numbers two four three right i should write comma in between they're separate different numbers and this group is called the core group which repeats so we have to basically identify the core group so in repeating patterns exercise is to identify core group let's look into question number eight and first identify the core group five four two five four so five four two five four so we see that again it starts with five and then goes to four as we have seen here so this is the group which is repeating we have identified the group and now we can write the next three terms so we have five four start from here five very beginnings five four next number should be two then we have two five four so i'm writing these three numbers two five and then four so like this it has to repeat perfect now we come to question number nine which is kind of tricky so let me put and star here it is slightly difficult question let's try to see what is the group that really repeats six eight ten six six eight oh starts from here right so it starts repeating from here so that becomes your core group do you understand that is how we get it so we already have first two numbers from our core group six and eight the next two numbers will be 10 and 6 and then 6 and then so on you get an idea so that is how we work with repeating patterns so till now we have seen patterns which involve increasing numbers patterns where we are talking about decreasing numbers and this time it was repeating numbers next activity is product the patterns could be 
where we follow multiplication, right? So when we say product, so this in activity involves product, which means multiplication. Let us see how to use multiplication in our patterns. Question number 10, 11, and 12 are the examples. So, we need to find the next three terms, next three numbers in the given pattern. Question number 10, 2, 4, 8. So, we see that there is rapid increase, right? So when there is rapid increase, it is not just addition, it is multiplication. Perfect. Now, to find multiplication by what, we can divide 4 by 2. 4 is the next number, right? So we are going from 2 to 4. Divide 4 by 2, you get 2. And then we are going from 4 to 8. 8 divided by 4 is also 2. So what you get here is a common factor. So this 2 is called the common factor. Factor is a number which when multiplied gives you the number, right? It's kind of a, a number within a number which you multiply a few of them to get the product, right? For example, 2 and 4 are factors of 8, right? Okay, that's what it is. So whenever you multiply two numbers, you get the product. Okay, so what we understand from this series is that we need to multiply by 2 or you can in this case say double the number so that is simpler right so double the number means times 2 so all these terms can be used to describe this pattern you can also say factor of 2, right? Okay. So, let's times 8 by 2. So, if I times 8 by 2, I will get my next number, which in this case is 8 times 2 is 16. And then we can keep on doubling them. So, we get 32 and double of 32 is 64. Now, in this exercise, you might need a calculator, right? So, calculator can be used. Right? Let's see question number 11. We need to find the next three terms. And what we see, number is 1, then 3, and then 9. So, 1 times 3, and 3 times 3. So it is times 3. So we can multiply these number by 3, right? So here we are going to triple. So 9 times 3 is 27. And now it becomes difficult. So we'll do 27 times 3. 3 times 7 is 21. And 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 81. So we get 81 here. And now we'll multiply 81 by 3 to get the next number. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 8, 24. So we get 243. And so on. Do you see that? So that is how we get our pattern. So I hope that is absolutely clear. So let's continue with question number 12. Take this as your practice question. 3, 6, 12 and so on. So to find the next number, we can first divide 6 by 3, right? How do you get 6 from 3? 
Well, it is times 2, you are doubling that. So let's continue. So it is also times 2. So 12 times 2 will give us the next number. Perfect. Which is the number 24. Two dozens. And three dozens, which is 36. Four dozens, which is 48. And so on. So likewise, we can actually get our series. Now let's see what is there in activity 5. We have also done the product this time. Well, activity 5 involves add different numbers each time. So that could be tricky. We are adding different numbers, right? So it is not the same number which is getting added. It is different numbers. In previous exercises, we were working by adding same numbers, subtracting same number, or multiplying by the same number. Here, we will be using different numbers each time. Keep that in mind to answer the next set of questions. Find the next three numbers in the given pattern. Question number 13. The numbers are 1, 2, 4, 7. Let's talk about an approach to answer such questions. So we are going to add, add what? So let's see. So to go from 1 to 2, I'm going to add 1, right? And to go from 2 to 4, I'm going to add 2. From 4 to 7, I'm adding 3. So it's different number each time. Perfect. We can think about saying start at 1. Then we add 1. And then we add one more each time. So that is how we could describe this particular pattern. Perfect. Let's see how to put the next number. Well, clearly, we have already added 3. Now we have to add 4 to get the next number. Right? So let's add 4 and write down a number. 7 plus 4 is 11. Next is to add the number 5. When you add 5, you get the number 16. And then adding 6 to 16 gives us the third number. What is that? 6 plus 16 is 22. Likewise, you can get more numbers. The pattern will continue. And we'll now add 7 to get the next number. Does it make sense to you? Right? So for all this, this is what is called the pattern rule. Right? So let me write down here pattern rule. So pattern rule becomes very important. Once you know a rule, then you can apply that rule and extend the patterns. That's the whole idea. Let's try question number 14 now, where the numbers are 1, 3, 6, and 10. Going from 1 to 3, we are adding 2. And then from 3 to 6, we are adding 3, right? 3 plus 3 is 6. And then we did plus 4. Next number should be plus 5. So when I do plus 5, I get my number, which is 15. And then we should add 6. And then we should add 7. Is that clear to you? Right? That's what you have got. So 15 plus 6 is 21. And 21 plus 7 is 28. I would like you to describe the pattern. So the exercise here for you is to describe pattern. So basically I mean describe pattern rule to find 
next number right so that will be your exercise for now and let's move on to activity 6 activity 6 is practice of adding different numbers each time so this is a very interesting exercise so here is your practice session so I like you to take a paper and a pencil to figure out how the patterns are growing all these are growing patterns try to write down a pattern rule to get next three terms I'll provide you with hints here right so in the first case we have to see how do we move from 2 to 3 we are adding 1 3 to 5 we are adding 2 and then we are adding 3 this pattern continues we'll add 4 to get the next number and add 5 to get the next number and then obviously it is 6 you're right so you can fill up those values and then describe the pattern right so I hope you are getting it and let me now fill this up so 2 3 5 8 was the pattern now to 8 we have to add the number 4 8 plus 4 will give us the next number the next number is 12 now 12 plus 5 will be 17 and 17 plus 6 is 23 so that is how we get this pattern so I hope most of you must have got this answer right let's practice it is not that simple so now I'll change the color and then check the pattern so from 2 to 4 we are trying to add 2 to get to 4 right and then we are adding 3 4 and 3 7 7 plus 4 is 11 and then we have to add the number 5 11 plus 5 is 16 and then we add the number 6 to get the next number and then we have to add 7 right so you get one number here the other one and that's the end of your series with three numbers which we need to provide and the series continues perfect so that is how you have to move along let's take some more practice questions here here is question number 17 add different numbers each time this is not that simple and therefore I have a couple of examples so I'll leave this for you have a good look at the question get your pattern describe it and then add three terms three four means you're adding one four to six is adding two six to nine is adding three and so the next number is addition of four so you could describe this as start at 3, add 1, add 1 more each time. Perfect. And when you do that, you get your pattern. So we will, we added 1 to 3 to get the number 4 then we added 2 to get 6 3 to get 9 we have to add now 4 9 plus 4 so we'll write here 9 plus 4 is 13 so we get our number 13 and then we have to do 13 plus 5 which is 18 
So we get after this 18 and then we'll add 6 which is 24. So we get 24 and so on. So we could perform the addition as we did on the side and fill up these numbers in our pattern series. So that becomes kind of an easy way to deal with such patterns. So let's move on with that knowledge. Question number eight is again, add different numbers each time, find the next three numbers in the given pattern. Question number 18 is three, five, eight, and 12. So when I move from three to five, I'm adding two, right? And then it is three, four. So that is how the pattern grows. So you can take this as a practice question. Describe your pattern. So what you need to do is describe pattern rule. The pattern rule here is, you have to always begin with the number you start with. So we are saying start at number 3 and then what do you do? You add 2 this time. And then you add one more. So first time you add two, then you add three, which is one more. So add one more each time to get the next number. So that could be the description. Description could be different, so you can come out with your own description, but that's the whole idea, right? Now, to get the series, we have to add 5 to 12 to get the next number. And when I add 5 to 12, we get 17, and then we have to add 6, right? So, you see 2, 4, 6, 3, 5, 7. So, that way is also you can see patterns within patterns, right? So I wrote 7 also. So 17 plus 6, so we can do it on the side. 17 plus 6, 6 plus 7 is 13. And when you add, you get 23. So we get the number 23 here. And we can add 7 here to get the number 30. So we get 30 here. So likewise, this will grow. So that is a growing pattern in which we are adding different numbers each time. Perfect. Let's move on to the next question. We're almost at the end. Now here is, again, a combination this time. So, so not just uh, addition, subtraction, or adding different numbers. We will not talk about a combination pattern. Question is, find the next three numbers in the given pattern. The numbers for us are 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11. Now, if I add and get something, I have to add 1. But from 3 to 6, we are adding 3, right? From 6 to 7, it is number 1. Well, we do see a pattern, right? 7 to 10, we are adding 3. So, alternately, we are adding 1 and 3. So, we get our rule here. And the rule is, let me write down the rule. We start at which number? We start at the number 2, right? The first number here is where we start. And then, what do we add? So we add 1 and then we add 
3 and then we add 1 and then we add 3. So if this process we could actually describe this part of addition as alternately add 1 and 3 to get the next number. Perfect. So that is another way of describing it. So this is second way of doing it and that is the first way of doing it and you can have many other ways of writing this pattern. However, we understand the process and the process is that once you add 1 and then you add 3 to get the next number. So when I add 3 to 11, I get my number which is 14. To 14, I have to add 3, uh, 1, right? Yeah, I have to add 1 to 14 so that I get my next number which will be 15 and then we'll add 3. The next number will be 15 plus 3 which is 18. So I hope that makes sense, correct? So we are changing, switching. Once we add 1, then 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. So we go into the steps of 1 and 3, right? Of 1, and 3 each time. So you could say that also. So you could add in steps number 1 and 3 each time. So that brings us almost to the end. The last activity is explore and enjoy. Well, we have a very special series here which is also called Fibonacci numbers. Nature is full of this series. So, so the best examples to find is nature. Many examples. Let me first um, explain you a few examples. Uh, for example, if we have uh, some fruits, right? For example, strawberries. So in strawberries, you do notice these dots. So you have one dot and you know, you know we have a pattern here. So in strawberries, you'll find some pattern of seeds. So if you count this pattern of seeds all around this strawberry, in that case, you will find that it is something like mentioned here. Perfect. So in nature, we see a pattern which is described many times with Fibonacci series. I'll also like you to explore uh, something more about it from Wikipedia. Right now, let's get to our rules. Pattern rules to find the next three terms. Now the idea here is to find the next three terms or next three numbers of our series. Perfect. So I'd like you to take your time to figure out what can be the next number. What is going to come here, right? And let me give you a hint. One of these numbers will be there. It could be 20 or 21 or 22. So one of these numbers will be at this position. So we need to figure out which one of these. Okay. So when I look at this series, what we could do here is from 1 to 1, we are adding 0. So what we are doing here is when we go, we are adding 0. And then when you go like this, we are adding 1 
and then when you go like this, 2 plus 3 is also adding 1. 3 plus 5, 3 to 5 is adding 2. 5 to 8 is adding 3. 8 to 13 is adding 5. So that is what you see. We are adding different numbers. Now, what number are we really adding? Do we have it on the pattern? Well, 8 and 5, do you see this portion? 8 and 5. To 8, we are adding 5 to get 13, right. And to 5, we are adding 3. To 5, we are adding 3, right? Oh, yeah. So we do see a pattern. And to 3, what are we adding? To 3, we are adding 2. Okay? To 3, we are adding the number 2. So, you add previous number. To get next. Is that clear to you? So, you are adding the previous number to get the next number, right? Let's further explore. So, so we say 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, right? And then 2 plus 1 equals to 3. And then once we get 3, we add 3 plus 2 equals to 5. And then previous to 5, previous to 5 is 3, right? Previous to 5 is 3. So, so we do 5 plus 3 to get 8. Next number here is 8 and 5. So, 8 plus 5 is 13. So, you write 13 here and add 8 to get the next number, which is 21. So do you see the pattern now? So, so you added previous number 5 and 8. So you added number 8 to 13. 8 was your previous number to get your series. Perfect. So that is a very interesting series. You can add the previous number to get the next number. So the series will be described as add previous number to get the next number. I've shown you here some squares. We just made some squares here to give you an idea how beautiful it looks. We start with one square, that is our first number, right? And this is our second number. So one, one. And the number two is represented by the square of two, two by two. Then we have 3 by 3 square, 5 by 5 square, and this square is incomplete, right? It is not a square yet. Okay, so we need to complete this square. It should be 8 by 8 square, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, so we will need to extend this. So you can make a block like this and that will be an interesting exercise to do. So I like you to make a block which will be in this case 8 by 8. So now we have a square and this represents our pattern. So we begin with this number 1, we go there, and then we'll connect this, right? Do you see this? And we'll connect this, and we'll connect this point also. And you see a spiral? Which is so common in nature. So we're talking about the nature where you always find the spiral shell, for example, of uh, many mollusks, right, snail. 
so so that is what reminds you of snail we have this pattern this pattern is seen in many fruits for example pineapple so the seeds of the pineapple which you see all around if you cut a slice from and then and then count the number of seeds on it you will again find this pattern so that's so much visible in the nature itself even in growing patterns for example rabbits if you take up and there are two rabbits one and one come together you get two and they grow the growth pattern could be very close to the pattern which we are talking about so our nature is full of patterns and i hope you can appreciate it much more now with these numbers so when you look at new things see some patterns and describe them in your own words i hope you find it interesting and useful that brings me to the end of this particular video i will highly appreciate if you can provide me with some feedback on how do you find this video was it useful was it helpful you can also rate this on a scale of 1 to 10 where 10 is the best i will also look forward to your valuable suggestions that will help me to deliver what you really need thanks for your time and have a great day bye